my fire collection, my, my mini scale fire collection now because I only collect small scale. Um, so we've got some fire cars. Well, I like fire cars because they're very interesting. So you can see we've got my officer's cars. This is like a watchman's car, command officer's van. He just sits around. This is just the RTC, um, a fire engine simulator cab truck because you can see there's literally nothing in the back of the fire engine. That's like a simulator truck. Uh, simulator is a real fire engine, but it's not. My rescue tender. There has never been a UK version, so the Hong Kong version will have to do. Next generation Scania. Nothing yet from Oxford Diecast about that, so I'll have to make do with that. The forever never ending air rescue pumps are terrible. Uh, a rear pump area that I was going to make into a trailer, but I've never got around to doing it. Some weird emergency vehicles on transport for London. I'm going to respond to it. You... <laughs> we have an emergency response team from DLR, Docklands Light Railway, an AA van to break down. We also have an RA. Oh my gosh. RAC van, a network rail, rail response unit, like a emergency response unit. And this one is a London Underground Emergency Incident Vehicle. So, yeah, and hopefully Tidy's going to be releasing the London Transport Buses Op Incident Response Unit. Got some fire response vehicles here as well. Um, they're just interesting. Um, there's my least, latest model, the RTC Extraction Team. It's a beautiful model to have because if you want to do scenes with RTCs, not, not with people that don't, just do pretend. I don't do that. Here's my Dennis Saabs. This is a Dennis Saab. Dublin Fire Brigade styled TL ladder. But that's the worst one. It's very crap, that one. Here's my Scania 940D260 model. These are big beasts, these, but it's a 67. It's got these nice wheels. There's Lily the Fire Engine as well, back end. We have an LFB Ionic TL ladder. Quite hard to find. We have an Eon Atego pump there. I know it's not from the UK, but it's unfortunately. Oxdac is a brilliant company, but I think they're restricted in what they can make and licensing and whoa. Ah. So that tie deck as a Tago is quite nice to have because it's a Tago. And then we've got loads of more Scanias. Another tiny diecast because tiny diecast has also made a TL ladder, which I needed apart from all the ARPs. So if you're quick, if you're clever enough, strip it off so it's tiny and Hong Kongy and McCaw. Details and throw it in the disc bin and make it into your very own UK fire engine. But of course, me, I'm not clever handed. If it was Lego, I could. Um, this is a Southwest Volvo. Still waiting on the Manchester Volvo and another Volvo. So it's like pain weight. Because as I said, Oxford Diecast is not a business. It's a family owned business. And they have family issues at the minute. And it's a lot of things going on, bless them. So I do understand. This is not normal what I keep. But this is probably one of my favourite fire engine models come to date. It's probably, I know it's Hong Kong again, I know, I know I'm a UK collector, but this is one of the best Dennis's because it feels very high quality. Um, and of course, look at the Scania, you've got the helmet inside, you've got the helmets inside, Brill, whatever. But nothing will stop me saying this is the best fire engine. Okay, here's the best TL ladder by Matchbox. Was wearing this high quality uh, uh, Hatfisher TL, and this is the UK Scania model. And my Nickel Bandai pullback Jupiter. Okay, we've got a Nickel Fire Officer's van up there. Another godforsaken air ladder that just doesn't go away. It's like it's still in your face. We have again Hong Kong tiny diecast always saves me. A lot of money. We've got a foam tender or foam bolt foam tender. We have a command unit similar to what Lancashire Virus got, but it's a Tago. We've got a fire van, another fire van, fleet support van, an unmapped fire officer's car with a light bar on top, another fire car, fire car. This is basically rope main rescue, but it's also known to be the rope rescue. Again, Hong Kong, and then we've got a rescue tender, which is also part of 
that. So it's not a Hong Kong version to me. It's a UK version to me. Um, we've also got these custom ones. Where is it? There. I'm in touch with him to try and make me some Lancashire ones because he has made Lancashire ones. So fingers crossed he gets back to me because I would love to own my own local Volvos. Um, these are my Dennis Saabs in, in the boxes. The Saab model. And it's the Leicestershire one, which is signed far enough. And then we've got these, not the best ones, but these two are, I should have not got these um, because they're so big and I just hate them. And they're so big and I can't fit them anywhere else. This is also the problem. As you can see, we have some more Scania's here. This is a big Scania P series, not T420. Don't just ignore that. It is highly quality, quality opening doors and all that yuck. Um, if I was to choose this, this is a good core tree. And two Ionic TLs, because obviously I've got two of these. One's a Leyland, one's a Blackpool one. So obviously I wanted the two TLs to go with them. Um, obviously we've got the airport, my airport tender. This is a Dublin airport tender. Um, yeah. Here's my Greater Manchester Volvo. It's a 999 Volvo. If it, and I did, is it going to focus? Or is it just going to be an absolute douchebag? Here's my, my cork. Um, is it Cork or Galloway or whatever, Volvo, and there's my Volvo Rescue Tender. If these weren't so rare, they wouldn't be on the plinth, they'd be with this one. And that will be replacing that, but obviously, uh, yeah. But what I don't like about Tide Eyecast is, you see the window is very flimsy, and you touch it, it can pop out. We've got another Dennis. This is a European Dennis, unfortunately, not a UK one. But we're not going to talk about the European things. The Merseyside. I really want to find the Merseyside Dennis, but obviously I'm not bothered anymore because they're so big. And I need a whole house for them. Uh, down here is all my small scale stuff. Um, as you can see, I don't really collect vintage stuff anymore because collecting vintage stuff is a bit depressing. And because modern stuff is modern day, it's nice and easy. You can make a whole collection and fleet about modern stuff like all my modern stuff apart from that. Tennis is modern. Tennis is modern, guys. But tennis is modern. Um, these are modern. That's modern. These are all modern up here. So you can make a whole fire service. But having vintage foundings mixed in is a bit, yeah, a bit of a pain in the butt. But there's one vehicle I do like to keep in the vintage collection. This is a Mercy Tender. We have an emergency unit van, mini pumps, here, here, mini pumpers. Um, these tie die can use some be here, but I'll just put them here for temporary moves. Use, because I like Lego more now, so I don't really bother with these. As you can tell, they're very dusty and abandoned. Um, all as you can see here, there's also some stuff on here that I take pictures of mostly. Obviously, this is American, let's not shout. This is actually... A very cool American fire engine. Uh, this is just basically used as like a military fire engine working together or a a mutual aid agreement. Now this is German, but I do like this command unit because it is a motorhome, and I think a motorhome is flipping cool as a thin. This is vintage, but obviously it's got a use. Why? It's not in the vintage collection. Incident sport unit. That's why I've got it here. Got an ambulance. Traffic officer car to close the road off. Fire investigation unit. Always need to have one of them in your collection. We have this cool little rescue tender. Is there a rescue tender this? I really don't know. Free couldn't be an answer to sorry for rescue tender. This is my favourite one. No one can stop me liking this one. It's my favourite. This one. I'm tapping right now. Least we forget. Never forget the minute. The men and the men who fought for us. Um, got some more Aqua stuff here. And another one of these Bowley trucks. I do think Americans get more fire engine models than us. Because that's nice. I did buy I did drop it though. When I moved it. Because my hands were slipping. So, and it's on my little collection. That's my new like, modern day collection. Um, but yeah. I'm not bothered. Oh, we've oh, got some modified cars in here. Oh, look at these buildings. These are not UK, but they're just pretend UK cars. 
cute little Tiji cars. I mean, these are nice for like a my my mini scale cars. Also, I don't like police, but obviously we've got two cop cars to block off the road. But I haven't got them off the plinth yet. Heartbeat, Ford Angler, Panda, whatever it is, and this Cheshire car. But yeah, these are obviously going to get taken off the plinth and just put on like scenes and stuff. Um. Same with all oh, this here. This is getting all jiggle jiggled. Um, not jiggle jiggled. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls. No, we're not going to sing song. It's shite. Tell you what, this is my favourite Dennis model. Well, actually, tell you what my favourite Dennis models are. These two. These two are my favourites. You can just see. I know it's dusty because I don't. I can't clean them. Because every time I clean them, dust comes in the room again, and I'm for a clean it. So this has got high quality detail. It's a 1938 Dennis Light Force. It's from the 1930s, guys. Um, back when the war near started. Damn it, when I dust it. As you can see, it's got the wind up clocky clocky fin, so you can wind the fire engine up. Because back in 1930s, it didn't have keys. They had to get out the car and just wind it up. And obviously, firefighters didn't have cab doors. They had crew cabs. They obviously sat on the back here and just waited for the crew to come. Uh, but yeah, I love it. It's probably one of my favourite Dennis models. I love it. This Dennis 1921 Dennis N-Type. And I've got a FK1 as well over there from this company. Beautiful models. So anyway, we're going to end there. But obviously we've got these models from Matchbox. Not quite a fan of them. Because Matchbox overreates everything. And they don't like Matchbox. Apart from making the Dennis Saab. Which they ruined it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say this now before I finish the video, guys. Dennis Saab by Matchbox was ruined by putting kiddish lives on it. They didn't stick to the. I mean, they did make a London Fire Brigade version, which was quite cool because you're thinking, well, what if uh, London's burning continued on and they need a bigger cab or something to film? And Dennis Saab was the only thing they could find, and it's just like a reacting thing for me. But yeah, I need to be careful with this tablet because this tablet is not a strong tablet. Um, but as I said before, most of the stuff here. All this is going to storage soon because obviously Lego is my first hobby and fire engines and stuff. Roblox and stuff is my second hobby. Uh, so I just want to clear something up. When I'm playing Roblox games, like transport games, it's not interest. I just write for you guys to show you what's on the game or branding. I just play Roblox games from over thousands of videos a day because my computer only has tiny storage in it. So if I have to spam everyone's YouTube, Meaning that because I have to get them all uploaded in one day and then it's um, upload the limit, it's because I haven't got a squash bit. My computer, my computer doesn't like the space on my computer. So once I get the videos out, I've got to change them all. But I mean, all these are changing because I don't really know why I went to London Fire Brigade and just went to the London Fire Brigade bad. Um, I just didn't know why. The most saddest collection for me was the National Fire Service collection because that was the saddest collection because they did fight in the war. They were they were in the front line during the blitz. So they were the most scariest fire service in their time. So obviously that means much to me. Oh, and we actually have another fire car. And I'm stuck. If, I, if I'm hearing correctly, this is actually frictional. But do you know what? I was quite proud of it for the London's Burning car because London's Burning is friction. So I'm not going to put this with the London's Fire Brigade black coal pump. Um, what else have we got here? More fire vans. I mean, this is cute. A nickel fire van. Fire vans are very nice. So fire vans are quite cool. This is cool. Looking for transit. So it'd be cool to have side by side of the new Ford Vans we got today yesterday but it's not in the same colour so uh here we are an LSB van again sorry about the dust eyes I do I do clean them I do clean them guys I I really do clean them but as I said it's not easy cleaning fire engine models because this is the brush I do use and I do use it I do use it I do use it but because a lot of dust in the air because of the sun and all that, you do get never-ending 
Different climate in the UK, I suppose. Different climate in the, I think, different climate. But anyway, all those in the fire, command unit dodge. Very cool fire machine. So bye guys.